Hi, I'm Jim Scott. This is Mike McConnell. Uh, were you up at 7.07 this morning? I was, as a matter oh. of fact, and I was shocked. Well, <laughs> listen, <laughs> that's what's happened. So this morning I announced that I am going to be leaving 700 WLW, uh, retiring, I guess is the word, uh, and Mike McConnell will be the new morning guy. And uh, so, you got any questions? It's the passing of the Grippo bag. I have a million and one questions about okay. that show. All right. Um, I don't know where to start. The the legendary uh, puppy show is that your favorite segment? I the knew dogs come I knew down you would and, do that. And you get dog hair all over. I tell you what, you look into the camera and you tell Meg Stevenson of the Animal Friends Humane Society of Butler County that you don't want to see her every week with her dogs and cats. I, I, I it's one of my favorite segments. Meg is oh. a she is a pro. Yeah. She's sharp and right. she brings down. She does good work and they're yeah. cute dogs. Yeah. But the, the one last week was a very hyper dog that shed. All, I had no idea a short-haired dog could shed like that. So we I, have, he's a wuss. <laughs> Come on, Mike. Traffic and weather together is every how often? Every 10 minutes. On the on the 10. On the 10. Yes. Yeah, okay. With Chuck Ingram and then the weather it comes from, is it? Fox 19. Fox 19. Yeah. It's a now forecast. Yes, exactly. Right. So it's... It's like radio. It's, it's now. It's, it's live. It's happening yeah. now. No, right. I, it's not always right. I have to say, I'm looking forward to this tremendously, but really the big story is the fact that you've chosen to retire because you have been a part of this landscape of this city literally for generations. Ever since I you mean, were a little boy. As sure as the, <laughs> now, I actually thought about this. You were on the radio here for 16 years before I moved here. Before I moved here. I'm glad you came. We were yeah. waiting for you, Mike. Now, the no prodigal kidding. son. No, but uh, I mean, I've listened to you for years. I listened to you before I ever started working here, and I think I speak for a lot of people. It's you know, it's it's like the sunrise. It's a sure thing every morning, and I don't think people are going to realize. Um, people often you don't realize what you had till it's gone, and I think that's going to be the case with Jim Scott. Yeah. Well, I have loved doing it, and uh, and I'll tell you personally, I was thrilled. Uh, when I heard you that you were coming back to the radio station last summer, I mean it hadn't been decided yet. Right. And and, uh, and but I, I knew I was probably going to do this, and I really felt a sigh of relief for the radio station if if you were going to turn up to be the person because I can't imagine a better fit. Well, now, I'm looking forward to it. You know, I I love new challenges and filling, you know, filling your morning. shoes is going to be a heck of a challenge. I get up pretty early anyway. Yeah. I'm usually up by 4.30. Mike, you know? that won't do it. I know, that won't do it, but <laughs> you've got to shave an hour, yeah. but uh, I can do that. It's, okay. I enjoy, I've been a morning person all along, so. Good. Okay, I'll tell you what. I give it because they do have an extra one. So here's here's my Grippo bag. I was going to joke. Okay. Say, well, yeah, the passing of the Grippo yeah, bag. Right. We don't have a baton. We need the the roller yeah. maybe that holds the toilet paper in the men's room. We yeah. Pass it's it's a time. guy thing. We do not have a passing baton. Passing the baton. Uh, I love them. Yeah, Jim. It's been fantastic working with you for as long as I have, and this is a tremendous opportunity. And I I look forward to doing my best to fill those shoes. Don't look, look screw it up. Size fourteen. What do you got? Fifteen. Don't 15. screw it up, Mike. I'm a thirteen. I'll do my best. Mornings, 5.06. Can't wait. <laughs>